Bitcoin price today is $43,265, with a 24-hour trading volume of $27 billion. Bitcoin is down 1,43% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is 1, with a live market cap of $820 billion. It has a circulating supply of 18 million BTC coins, and a max supply of 21 million BTC coins. According to our current Bitcoin price prediction, the value of Bitcoin will drop by minus 7.92%, and reach $39,770 by March 8, 2022. According to our technical indicators, the current sentiment is neutral, while the fear and greed index is showing fear. Bitcoin recorded 1530 50% green days with 6.30% price volatility over the last 30 days. Based on our Bitcoin forecast, it's now a good time to buy Bitcoin. Based on today's classical pivot point P1, with a value of $44,167, Bitcoin has support levels of $43,160, $42,381, and the strongest at $41,374. Similarly, Bitcoin resistance levels are at $44,945, $45,952, and $46,731. To get a better, idea of what could happen to the Bitcoin price in the future, it's helpful to also explore, Bitcoin's price history. In the last month, the BTCUSD pair is up 15.18%. The one-year performance of BTCUSD is minus 11.46%. A more in-depth analysis of the effect of current, events on the cryptocurrency market was offered by David Leifchitz, Managing Partner and Chief Investment Officer at ExoAlpha who noted the hard bounce in BTC from $37,000 to $44,000, in the couple of hours following Russian President Vladimir Putin's announcement, of a national ban on foreign FX transfers. The rapid move upward stalled at $44,000, which coincided with the 100-day moving average, according to LifeChits, which is also near the top of the $33,000 to $45,000 range in which Bitcoin has been trading in for weeks. LifeChit sees the $45,000, resistance is holding firm for now and highlighted the next hurdle at $51,000, that still stands in the way before BTC can even, attempt to make a run at its all-time high above $64,000. Investor sentiment across the cryptocurrency, ecosystem has seen a significant shift in the positive, direction over the past week, despite events in the wider world. Currently, Bitcoin is back above 43,500 and many altcoins, are also witnessing double-digit gains. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine and recent, actions taken by governments to limit access to banking, services may have helped to shine a light, on the value of holding cryptocurrencies, which offer some protection against uncontrollable, events and what some might perceive as government, overreach. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro, and TradingView shows that the price of BTC, has oscillated between $43,350 and $45,400, on March 3rd as the world awaits some form of resolution, to the current conflicts. Here's what several analysts are saying about the recent, price action for BTC and where it could, be headed in the weeks ahead. Most altcoins have calmed now, excluding Terra and Solana. Both are up by more than 6% and stand at $95 and over $100, respectively. The volatile roller coaster in the crypto market, continued in the past 24 hours, led by Bitcoin's movements. The asset had dumped to just over $34,000, last week when Russia launched its special military operation against Ukraine. However, as the Western leaders, refused to get directly involved in the war, BTC began its rapid recovery. In a matter of hours, the cryptocurrency regained all lost value and even took a swing at $40,000, but to no avail at first. Yet, it overcame that coveted level the following day, and kept climbing to $44,000 as reported. Moreover, it even touched $45,000 yesterday, which became its highest price line since February 10th. As of now, Bitcoin has lost some ground and stands around $44,000. Nevertheless, its market capitalization remains well above $800 billion. Crypto experts believe that amid the global volatility and rising inflation concerns, the $45,000 mark for Bitcoin should not be seen as a surprise. 
Reading the technical charts, Vikram Subaraj CEO of Giatas Crypto Exchange said that Bitcoin may hit the $45,000 mark soon as few traders see this movement as an impulsive Elliott wave. We have already been rejected from the level ones, but there's adequate potential for us to retest and break it. This doesn't mean a corrective way won't take Bitcoin down below again though, he added. Bitcoin BTC pulled off an impressive double-digit rally this year but the digital asset has been struggling to break the $45,000 resistance lately. This level does not hold any historical importance because it has been easily breached multiple times. The same can be said for Bitcoin's $850 billion capitalization, which isn't anywhere close to Silver's $1.4 trillion or Amazon's and Google's $1.7 trillion market value. Bitcoin's market cap is often compared with gold, which has a $12.3 trillion total value and is currently the leading global store of value solution. Therefore, the answer to the $45,000 resistance might lay in institutional investors' comparison of BTC versus gold. But, by looking at institutional investor funds' assets under management and daily trading volume, it is possible to infer that Bitcoin's 93% market capitalization discount is justified.